Hello, Gary. Ronald told me what happened. What? Why would you want to kill yourself? Where am I? You've had a torrid few days after what was removed from your system. Gary. Listen, Faye. I, I just want to be alone. Please. But why? Look, why are you shutting me out? I'm not shutting you out. You've already shut me out. Look, don't say that. You know that isn't true. Do I? I really hope that you find happiness in your life. You've got so much to offer. Right, thanks for letting me know. Listen, I've got to go. I'll give you a call back later. Right, bye. So how's my baby sister doing? Well, I went to see Gary yesterday. I see. Oh, Gordon, I'm so worried about him. Don't be. The guy's a complete waste of time. You're better off cutting all links with him. Maybe that's what'll happen. I just don't know. Good. You've got enough on your plate as it is. Switching cities and being jobless. Thanks. You've really bailed me out of this one. Hey, no problem. I'll always be there for you. I know Aberdeen doesn't have the same appeal as Glasgow, but hopefully it'll be okay. Yeah, it'll be grand. What are you doing here? I'm so sorry, Gary. I had to come and see you. Well, I'm glad that you're thinking about your future. Get lost. Come on now, we've got to talk. Faye told me that you shut her out. I didn't shut her out. That was the last thing I wanted to do. But I can't spend time with her now. Yeah, I can appreciate that, but... No, it's bad enough that the two people closest to me are talking about me behind my back. But the fact that you're both showing concern, it's too late. It isn't too late. At least the here life shows me that. But whether we show concern or not, you need to realise that your life is still worth living. Maybe, but it's not your concern. It's not my concern? How can you be so selfish? I'm selfish. You're the one who stabbed me in the back and ruined any potential career prospects. And what about your part in everything? Are you just going to spend the rest of your life blaming everyone else? If I really blamed everyone else, then it wouldn't be my life I'd want to end. Brenda from Tudor's Down. Um, I just wanted to pop by and invite you to a party that I'm having to celebrate the birth of my nephew. Um, there's some other folk in the building coming and I thought it would be a good chance to get to know some faces. Okay, but we've never spoken. Yeah, I know, but let's all give us a chance to fix that. Okay, so when is it? It's on Friday night. It starts at seven, but any time before it will be fine. And feel free to bring any friends along if you want. It'll be fairly relaxed. So will we see you there? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Cool. Um, and don't worry about having to bring anything. Just know that I will now be entitled to come and borrow some milk if I ever run out. Okay. Okay, thank you. I really appreciate this opportunity. I'll come by for 10 o'clock, yeah? Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, my God. 
I've got him. What now? Bring him to Aberdeen. We've got a lot to do. I just want to be alone. Please. And you don't take... <laughs> <laughs> I forgot mine. <laughs> I'm not shutting me at what hard to do. It's alright. It needs to be fast now. <laughs> Sorry, okay, I'm on that. I'm on that. Random guy in the background. Alright, how's it going? Alright, hey, how's it going? Hey, you're fighting, hi. Sorry, no more. Yeah. Good. You've got enough on your plate. <laughs> Blame everyone for everything. Oh, your sugar. I'm sorry, Michael. I had to come and see you. Gavin. I'm called Gavin. Gavin. <laughs> 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 That's my brother's name. <laughs> well, I'm glad they have the. Enough that the two people closest to me are doing. Oh. If I blamed everyone else, it wouldn't be my life I'm getting rid of. Getting rid of? <laughs> <laughs> no. It's. <laughs> I'm 